In this video, we're going to take a look at the Blink Mini Pan and Tilt. Alright guys, so this is the Blink Mini Pan Tilt. So this is a fairly new product that just came out not too long ago. They have two versions of this. They have the combo version which comes with the base and the camera. But, but if you already own a camera, you can buy just the base itself and then attach your current camera to the base. So pretty much this has a 360 degree view, has day and night HD video, two-way audio, motion detection, and of course, just like all the other Blink products, easy setup. Currently, I have a few outdoor cameras. I have the Blink X-T2s, and then I also have the Blink doorbell. So I've been with Blink ever since they first came out. They're really affordable, and their system's really easy to use. So let's go ahead and get inside the box here. All right guys, so I got everything out of the box, out on the table here. You're gonna get your base. That's what the base is gonna look like. On the top there is where you're gonna snap your camera on. That's the plug to plug in your camera. Plug right there to plug in your power cable. On the bottom, looks to be a tripod mount. I got blink on the front here. It's kind of like a matte finish. Not very big at all. Not much bigger than my hand. Here's the camera that it comes with. Just your standard indoor blink camera. And then you're gonna get your wall plug and then you're gonna get your power cord. It looks like they give you a decent amount of cord there. Then of course, your user manual. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get this set up. First, you're gonna take your camera, and your camera's just gonna clip right on the top there. As you guys can see, there's a spot for it to go right there. So you're just gonna go ahead and pop it right in there. like so, make sure it's centered. Then after you do that, you're gonna go ahead and take this cord right here, and you're just gonna go ahead and plug it right into the back of the camera. There's really only one way you can plug this in. So, there you go, plugged in, nice and easy. And then you're gonna take your power cord and then you're gonna plug that into the base of the pan and tilt. So like I said, they give you a decent amount of cord here, which is nice. Go ahead and plug this right into the bottom. And then you can plug in your wall jack right here. Not sure if this works off of just a USB power or you have to use this wall plug. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. As you guys can see there, the red light is flashing. Now it's blue light flashing and it's green. This means it's ready to connect to my app. So we're gonna go ahead, go into the Blink app here on my phone. So there's the Blink app. I'm gonna go ahead, hit the plus button there, and then it's gonna ask you what you would like to do. You'd like to add a wireless camera. So right down there, as you guys can see, it says the mini pan tilt camera. Go ahead and click on that. Pretty much gives you the instructions of what to do, how to install it. Then I'm gonna add it to my account. Wants me to capture the QR code on the device. So I'm gonna go ahead on the back of the camera there is the QR, QR code. So I went ahead and I'm gonna exit add it to the existing home. Then it's asking me, is it blinking blue and steady green? And as you guys can see there, it's blinking blue, steady green. So I'm gonna put discover device. So it's searching for it right now. And it's already found it, so now I'm connecting to it. And right there, it's wanting to connect to my Wi-Fi. As far as I know, you have to connect to a 
2.4. So I'm going to go ahead and put my password in here. And now it's connecting to the Blink servers. This may take a minute. All right, mini camera connected successfully. Hit done. It says your device comes with free cloud storage. Um, I already, since I was one of the first people to jump into Blink when it first came out, I'm already grandfathered in to the cloud system. So as you guys can see there, it's pretty much looking at my table. All right guys, so unfortunately, I had to take about 10 minutes there off camera because when I had connected this originally, this Blink camera using the QR code and everything, I was able to see the camera, but there were no settings and no functions for the mini pan tilt base. So I didn't have anything to control this or it didn't recalibrate, wasn't doing anything. It just, it did not detect this. The only way I could figure out to fix this was underneath the camera is a reset button. So you're going to have to, if, this, if you have this problem, you're going to have to pop off this camera from the base here, keep it plugged in, and then push in that reset button. Hold it in for a little bit, and then the whole device will reset. And then once you re-add it to your app, I was able to get it to work where all the settings and everything for the camera and for the base was visible now. Not sure why I had that issue, but just in case you guys have any of those issues, try that out. Hopefully that works. It worked for me. So let's get back into this so I can show you what it looks like. So when you hit the live view, it's going to show the camera view here. And now, as you guys can see, this camera... I just turned it around there so you can get a different look of the picture. But as you guys can see there, that's what the camera's seeing. Now this bottom part right here, this directional pad, I did not have that originally. And I went through like all the settings here. There's the settings. Didn't have this 360 pan originally. So not sure why that was happening, but. So you can go ahead and turn this, you guys can see there, the camera's turning, it's gonna turn all the way around, and you can turn it all the way back around the other way, this is 360, as you guys can see there, so that's all the way down, limit reached it shows, go ahead and go back up, so multiple different ways that you can move this camera around to get different views, which is nice. Got a home button, and the home button's just going to take it right back to it originally was calibrated at. Live view there. I'm going to take a snapshot. There's a snapshot right there of just what the camera's looking at. So everything else is pretty much the same as any other blink camera you're gonna have your settings you're gonna have your motion detection and all that the only difference with this is it's gonna allow you while you're in live view to be able to pan and tilt which is pretty nice if you got a big area to cover inside your house I'm gonna end up putting this in my basement so I'll be able to cover a wide area in my basement
All right, guys, so that's a look at the Blink Mini Pan Tilt. Overall, pretty decent product. The only issue I had with it was the fact that I had to reset the whole system to be able to get the pan and tilt settings and controls to pop up on the app, which was unfortunate. But luckily, I was able to figure it out. And then if any of you guys out there have any issues, hopefully that helps you too. Also, if you guys are interested in one of these, I'll make sure I'll put links in the description box below. There'll be Amazon affiliate links. Using those links help out the channel a lot, and I appreciate it. Other than that, guys, that's going to be it for this video. So if you found this video useful, smash that like button. If you like what I'm doing on my channel, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Until the next one, guys, I'll talk to you later.